The 2019 World Tour 2 Grand Final for the Manufacturer Series is underway as we head down towards the first corner at the Nordschleife here. You can see Audi going towards the outside, Mercedes on the inside as BMW try to defend their lead in towards turn number two. Keep it nice and clean here, lads, as Chevrolet getting very close and also Aston Martin there on the oh inside. My. And BMW get tagged by Audi and lose their race lead on the opening lap. And a penalty there for BMW, I think, for going off the, off the track, maybe going because uh, into the corner cut there, but a disastrous start there for BMW. See the soft tyres are coming to play very nicely here, Jimmy. The likes of Toyota, who are on the soft tyres, they're going to be wanting to make very good progress in the opening stages here. Regardless, looking at Audi, the race leaders, who are coming under ever more pressure from the Aston Martin team at the moment. This car has an absolute beast of an engine underneath that bonnet. V12, look at the straight line speed. Martin Grady can do nothing but sit there and watch. We have Toyota and BMW going out. Toyota looking to the outside, now on the inside. If he can stay there, that's position made. He's made a pass going up the hill. There goes Toyota up into third position. As we ride on board with the Japanese driver in the Japanese mark now through the right-hander, very close to the Audi there. Was there a little bit of contact? It was quite close, just a touch, I think. But you can see him there looking very aggressive as he's just got so much more pace but just nowhere to use it. Let's just look at the straight line speed as Mercedes-Benz go romping past of course, with the result of that penalty. So let's see what Yamanaka does. Will he veer to the right-hand side and pit in? No, he's going to try and make that soft tyre last two laps. He's so a braver man than you or I, I think. So this is an interesting strategy. People are opting to get off that hard tyre as quick as possible and get onto the medium or soft. So it looks like what people are going to be trying to do is two laps in the medium, two laps in the soft, get that hard out of the way. And here comes Toyota trying to find their way through against Aston Martin. And Yamanaka does find his way through against Angelo Schutz and the Aston Martin and into the race lead. That was a great move there. Now, this is absolutely crucial for Yamanaka in that Toyota. He needs to get as big a gap as he can now on that soft compound of tyre. He does have an advantage on the tyre. And meanwhile, in the background, Mercedes-Benz trying a lot on Audi. The Audi struggling a bit in the straight line, it seems. And Mercedes-Benz uh, just rings it around the outside. Thank you very much. Is the BMW going to try and do the same? I don't think he's got enough room to do that. And there goes Aston Martin. <laughs> Look at the straight line speed there. Yeah, you're absolutely, absolutely right. Absolutely crazy. As you said, my V12, and he's <laughs> straight past. Pretty much everybody on the uh, stage at the moment is ready to change. So let's see who will dart into the pit lane. Toyota, of course, do. Aston Martin do. What about Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Audi? Are they going to pop in? Looks like they are. Yep, BMW coming in. And also Aston Martin, Chevrolet there as well. What about Lexus? They haven't pitted. And also Volkswagen. Throw it to the left, throw it to the right. Now, whatever I was, I'll go right to the inside now. If I was told you, he does, gets on the curb on the inside. The Aston Martin sees it coming and does not give any room there to making the same move that Yamanaka made on Aston Martin a lap previous. Goes round the outside using the softest compound of tyres. A great move there. Yeah, half second penalty there for BMW. So the second penalty they've actually been given in this race. Here come Porsche, sliding their way down the inside. Side by side, they run with Mercedes Benz and through with absolute ease. That was so easy. BMW there, down in fifth position. They're going to have to just wait. There's nothing they can do apart from sit there, wait for the Mercedes to get on with it. But they're saying that Valverde goes a little bit wide there in the Merc, just picks up a bit of grass. BMW dives to the inside. Valverde off into the wall, into the barrier there. I think he just got onto the dirty stuff there. And Randall Hayward goes through into fourth position. And now Lexus are coming back into play now as well. This is the first time, really, we've mentioned Lexus all race. Toyota, though, soldier on on the medium compound of tyre as Aston Martin comes into the pits, gets that soft compound of tyre off Porsche as we said also into the pit lane here as well as uh, Mercedes-Benz are coming in from the harder compound of tyre what compound are they going to be going on to BMW uh, have got a penalty once again by the looks of things so again Mercedes-Benz one of the teams who are in with a shout of winning this thing outright as are Porsche but they need something special now they need something special to try and catch up to Toyota now Bear in mind, Toyota, while they do have a nine second gap right now, they have still to use the hard compound of tyre, which will be on the last lap. And we think that hard compound of tyre is about 14 seconds or so slow, about six seconds slower than the, uh, the medium tyre. So there's a, a big chance here Toyota might be caught. Aston Martin very much coming into play now as well. We know how fast that V12 Vantage is in a straight line. Is he going to find his way through up the inside? Well, he's got trying the inside it. line. He's trying it. Here comes the Mercedes as well as they're going to nearly be running three wide into the chicane. This could nearly end in tears, but they do all keep it relatively sensible. Oh. And the positions keep the same, but a little bit wide there on exit from Aston Martin. We look at the Mercedes with Lakowski behind the wheel. He goes towards the outside line then into the next corner. He's got so much more pace behind 
behind the wheel on these softer tyres. It's only going to be a matter of time. They're still running side by side. Mercedes with the outside line, but track position and now taking over fifth place in this race. That was very, very important to make that pass now. So now the Mercedes-Benz has a clear path in front of them. It's hot lap until the end. That is the only way they have a chance of challenging Toyota here this evening. Oh. Aston Martin sends it up the inside of Porsche. And get position, they're nearly side by side. There's contact between them. And Aston Martin are into the wall. Oh, that was totally unnecessary there from Porsche. I can tell you what, I can see a penalty being handed their way from race direction. Mercedes-Benz are the one to watch. They're five seconds already over Porsche after overtaking them earlier on this lap. Cody Lukowski is on a war path. He's got a clean track in front, coming up to the penalty line, slowing down the line, filling up. When that fills up, off the throttle for 1.5 seconds, and there you go. Cody pulls out of the sip stream, and this is it now. The charge to the end. Oh, my. I'm looking forward there's to this. There's so much tension, isn't there? <laughs> this is going to be absolutely incredible. Toyota pitting in. Toyota coming in the pit lane, then Slide Bishop gets into the car for the final stint, puts on the hard compound of tyre. I think a little bit of fuel going into that car as well for the end. Here comes Toyota, but where? Are Mercedes-Benz, are they ahead, are they behind? Let's wait and see for a wider shot. This is close, Toyota are still ahead, they are still in the race lead by the looks of things. And yep. importantly, Mercedes-Benz are in second position and 10 seconds down the road. Now we think the hard compound is about 13, 14 seconds slower than the soft compound tire. The gap is less than 10 seconds. The winner of this race will win the series here at the Nürburgring. So there's only a point in it as it stands now. If the race finished with Toyota in first and Mercedes in second, we have about half a lap to go here. And it's anybody's game. The gap down to 5.4 seconds. It won't be long until we can see Sly Bishop in the Toyota up the road. Let's see if we can see him coming down the hill to compression. There he is, just going off in the distance. And for the first time in most of this race, Cody can now see the car in front of him. That's just going to give him extra motivation. Going through into the left hand and just over uh, three quarters of a lap to go here at this Nordschleifer circuit. I tell you what, this is going to be absolutely nail biting. Gap now only down to 1.8 seconds. He's nearly within the drafting range at this point. Coming into the last sector, Cy Bishop, all he can do is drive as hard as he can. And please don't think that Cy Bishop isn't trying because on those hard compound tyres, the car is a lot slower. Cody has gone from being 10 seconds behind at the start of his lap to now being within touching distance. But here comes Cody. Is he going to be able to try and find a way past? He's not reading him as close as he would like. This straight is actually very short in these Group 3 cars, but that Toyota has got great legs on it. Is Lakowski going to be able to do anything? A look over from Cy Bishop, but Lakowski, he's maxed out. He's got no more straight line speed. He's going to have to try something. He's going to have to think about a lunge, surely, into the left-hander. That's brilliant. Here comes Lakowski. They're side by side. This is amazing for the Manufacturer Series final win. Lakowski on the inside, Bishop on the outside in the Toyota. Oh, he goes off. They're side by side still. And Toyota and Cy Bishop take victory here in the Manufacturer Series final. Well, that is going to go down surely to a steward's investigation. But Toyota win it on the road here for the Manufacturer Series grand final. Mercedes-Benz come home in second position after contact in the final sector, and BMW claim a well-deserved podium. We do actually have the final standings oh, from that Manufacturer Series final then. We're going to bring them on screen for you now, and let's see who's won. It is Team Toyota. It's been deemed oh, a race against go. them by Race Direction, and Team Toyota are the Manufacturer Series finals champions here for World Tour 2 at the Nürburgring.